back in the pits here at DeSoto Speedway with TBRA points leader Shane Butler. Shane, welcome back to DeSoto Speedway tonight. Uh, thanks for having us back. Glad to be back. All right. He's the, uh, Shane's our TBRA points leader, so let's talk about uh, how your season's gone and um, some of the wins you have underneath your belt this year. Yeah, we've, I mean, we've had a pretty good year so far. Uh, uh, it's not looking so good right now. We've already got stuff breaking on us, but, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. We'll just keep digging. We we got parts. We fix it. And, uh, you know, we've had a pretty good season up till now. We've only had one one really bad night that i really like to have back. But, you know, that's the way it goes. We'll just keep digging. All right. See you win a bunch of uh, non-wing races too this year. Of course, you won one here. It was both of our birthday nights earlier this year. Let's talk about the uh, differences um, racing here between the wing and the non-wing car. Oh, you know the wing deal just takes a whole lot more finesse, and uh, it it really puts it in the driver's hands. You know, I'm not taking anything away from the wing cars because they're fast, um, but you know you got you got a good strong motor and a decent handling car, and anybody can steer them in the right direction. But the the non-wing non-wing deal takes takes a little more finesse and a lot, lot more driver. Talk about uh, how your car is going tonight. You said you've had a little bit of trouble here so far since you've unloaded. Yeah, we uh, went out in the first hot lap and uh, broke a birdcage bearing. So it's just just one of them deals that it happens. You know, nothing, nothing, and nobody's fault. It's just just a parts failure. Just no big deal. We we'll fix it. Right. Of course, we're here tonight honoring uh, Frank Riddle. A lot of family racing history here in Florida. Your um, family has a lot of racing history here as well. So talk about uh, how you guys got along with him over the years, especially racing up in Anderson, like him and your dad did. Yeah, you know. Frank Frank was a he was a hell of a wheel man. That's for that's for a fact, and everybody knows that. But uh, you know him him and my dad they used to always race hard, and which Frank raced hard with anybody. You know that's that's the way Frank was. But but he was definitely a gasser, and you know everybody goes to Anderson, everybody's buddies when they go to Anderson for the 500. You know it's a little more tense than on a regular Saturday night show, but you go to Anderson, everybody's buddies. But uh, you know so it, it's pretty cool being being here for the Frank Roller race. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what we can do. And uh, we'll see if Shane makes it to the front tonight here in the 18 car, keeps his points lead for turn five on Scott Lockwood back here in the pits. Back in the pits with um, sprint car legend Stan Butler. Stan, welcome back to uh, DeSoto Speedway tonight. Thank you. Glad to be here. Got a chance to shake a little rust off. So you just said shaking a little rust off. Talk about uh, what you've been doing racing-wise this year. I know we've seen you here a couple times earlier in the year, and that's how the year going for you. Well, I haven't. I think I raced, I raced this car earlier in the season down here. And uh, I actually ran a little uh, antique midget two weeks ago down here. Uh, I have driving wise, I haven't really done a whole lot this year. We've had somebody driving this car and Shane driving that one. And uh, you know, at my age, you can't get anybody to let you get drive a race car anymore. And if you can't afford to run your own, you kind of sit back and help. Right now, of course, we know uh, your legendary history in Florida, and of course, we're also here honoring a legend tonight in uh, Frank Riddle. Talk about uh, your racing with him over the years, and what it means to be here and tonight in his honor. Well, off and on through the years, uh, I grew up watching Frank race and getting a race with him. I mean, he's one fierce competitor. He didn't mind laying a bumper to you. It didn't matter. And you learn you learn to race tough if you're going to race with Frank. And I, we had our share of little off-track battles and on-track battles. But I'll tell you what, if you beat Frank Riddle, it was just like beating Jim Tilder or Larry Brazil. If you beat one of them guys, you most likely was going to be in the front. All right. And uh, how, how's the uh, car looking for you tonight? Well, I, I didn't. I don't have my seat in it, and I'm really uncomfortable. We're trying to do some stuff to make it a little more comfortable, so I can at least go out there and halfway run it. <laughs> right. But well, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, best of luck to you, and uh, watch out for uh, Stan Butler here in the 81 car tonight in the Frank Arnold Memorial.